<coughs> good evening friends in this video we are going to discuss about capital and operating cost of different power plants that we will be discussing in detail what are the costs involved in electricity generation general cost incurred for installing and operating the power plant so in the coming slides will give you the more idea about the cost involved in electrical energy generation so if you look at this graph this uh, <coughs> chart the cost of electric energy divides into four categories fixed cost operating cost customer charges and investors profit as you know the fixed cost it is the capital cost of the power plant that is the cost of land cost of building equipment cost installation cost and designing and planning cost this will come under capital cost of power plant part of fixed cost another part of fixed cost is capital cost of primary distribution that is we have to install substations at various places and transmission lines to take the current from one place to another place distribution this is second part of the fixed cost third part of the fixed cost is interest tax insurance general management and depreciation cost all the three cost will be added and will be classified as fixed cost capital cost of power plant capital cost of primary distribution and other capital cost like interest tax insurance depreciation etc this is about fixed cost next cost involved in electric electrical energy is operating cost here the fuel cost will be considered labor cost and material cost that is grease chemical water oil etc in day to day life day to day operation for <coughs> maintenance of the plant we need this operating cost that is fuel cost labor cost material cost this will be classified as operating cost this is second major classification of cost third cost is customer charges capital cost of secondary distribution cost of inspection and maintenance cost of publicity office staff for meter reading those are directly related with customers last one is investors profit if they are selling the shares the customers or investors will buy the share and the profit so all those four major divisions like fixed operating customer and investors profit put together will come as cost of electrical energy see the different methods used to calculate the depreciation cost of a power plant so this is part of fixed cost the building cost land cost equipment cost installation cost design and planning cost or can be easily calculated part of the fixed cost similarly cost of substation and cost of transmission lines also can be calculated whereas other capital cost that is a depreciation cost we have to find some mathematical methods to find the depreciation cost see if you are purchasing the equipment the value of the equipment will be decreasing year by year that is called a depreciation so that can be calculated by three different methods namely straight line method sinking fund method diminishing value method the straight line method will give you the depreciation amount per year how much amount will be depreciated per year 
that will be that can be calculated by using straight line method. So if you look at the graph, life in years along x-axis and the cost is given in y-axis. The straight line. Look at the graph. The salvage value and total depreciation. Salvage value is scrap value. After 10 years, the machine will be will become scrap. The lowest cost alone will be available for that material. The worth of the material will be very low. That like a scrap cost. So in the 10 years life, the entire cost has to be divided, and it will be called as a depreciation cost. If you look at the formula, annual depreciation amount A equal to C capital C minus S by N, where A is the depreciation amount per year, C is the initial investment or capital cost, S is the salvage value at the end of the plant value, or 10 years or 50 years, 20 years likewise, and N equal life of a plant or rate of interest. So by using this formula we can easily calculate the depreciation cost per annum that is per year. This is the second method called sinking fund method. Sinking fund method is a method of calculating depreciation for an asset in which apart from calculating, calculating depreciation it also keeps aside a fund for replacing the asset at the end of its useful life if the asset worth is 20 years it is a costly equipment costly machinery so at the end of the 20th year we have to purchase the new equipment to replace this old equipment that time the huge amount may not be collected. So what they are doing is they are collecting the money and they will deposit in shares or other things and they will earn their interest and along with the depreciation cost it will be deposited and at the 20th year all the amount will be spent for purchasing the new equipment to replace the this equipment. That's why it is called as a sinking fund method. You can look at the formula that is uh, annual depreciation equal to C minus S into R by 1 plus R power N minus 1. There is a more or less the curve is here, curve whereas the previous straight line method it is a straight line. So the amount agreed with the compound interest over the life of the equipment will be utilized for purchasing the new machine. That is the point we have to understand in sinking fund method. The water amount we are spending that will be utilized. That is the depreciation amount as well as we are putting the share that amount will be sold in the share market. That interest that amount all will be taken into account and will be set, spent for purchasing new machine to replace this old machine. So we have to maintain a fund for purchasing new machine that is called sinking fund method. Third method is a diminishing value method. The amount is set aside per year decreases the life of the plant increases. This is also called a reducing balance method. If you look at the formula. The fixed percentage taken to calculate the annual depreciation x equal to 1 minus small s by capital C power over power 1 by n that is salvage value by capital cost to the power of 1 by n number of n equal to number of years. The plant goes on decreasing as its existence continues. It is uh, obvious that the plant life when the period increases increases the plant value will be decreased so considering those points we are calculating the diminishing value method calculating this 
percentage taken by using the formula x equal to 1 minus s by c power 1 by m. Operating cost, that is second part of this cost is operating cost. The fixed cost is the major cost, second one is operating cost. The operating cost for power plants include fuel, labor and maintenance cost. Unlike capital cost which are fixed, don't vary with the level of output. That's why it is called as fixed cost. A plant's total operating cost depends on how much electricity the plant produces. The operating cost required to produce each megawatt hour of electric energy is referred as the marginal cost. This graph will give more information that look at this graph along the x-axis we have operational flexibility along y we have operating cost. So here they have given all the power plants, coal based power plant, nuclear power plant, coal gas turbine, combined cycle gas turbine and simple cycle turbine that is gas and oil and hydroelectric. If you look at the graph, operation flexibility and operating cost, more flexibility with the less operating cost is hydroelectric power plant. Whereas the gas turbine oil are flexible but the operating cost is more. Nuclear and coal they are less flexibility at the same time lower operating costs. So this is the thing we have to understand when we are discussing about capital cost, operating cost etc for power generation. Thank you for watching this video.